welcome back to Farming Simulator and we are on Elm Creek for a video that I've wanted to do for a very long time but haven't had the opportunity and now I do. I'm going to show you how to find a mod conflict or how I find a mod conflict and how I recommend that you do it. Um, regulars to the channel will know that one of my Let's Play saves has uh, broken because of a mod conflict and um, I spent a lot of time trying to resolve it because I didn't take my own advice and work logically through things to try and track down what was causing the issue. Now, I know the mod that's causing this conflict now. I have been through and found it. And the same will apply for your situation. It may not be that the specific mod that is causing the problem is bad and it may be that i could find another mod within the mod set that is causing the combined problem i have found the first mod as i've tested that causes the problem and it's a mod that i'm not attached to and i'm happy to remove from the save to progress um, and that may be the same for you it may be that you could um i and i would recommend work through the entire mods folder and find which of the mods within your mod set combined are causing the problem. I'm going to show you the method that I used to identify the mod that's causing the problem for me. Um, and weirdly, I am using that mod on other saves with a similar mod set and it works fine. Um, so I run separate mods folders for each of my saves and all the different projects that I do. And so they don't all have the same mods in them. And the mod that is causing a problem here, I run on other saves and it works just fine. So it is some interaction with the other mods and it may be that a different mod is causing the problem, but I've identified a mod which is causing the issue, which means I can go forwards. So you are going to want to be able to bring the development console up. I have a separate video on that. You need to go into your... Um, farm sim settings files and uh, change that actually i'll show you when we go out to the mods folder because we're going to be doing that and you want to bring up the console you do that by pressing the uh i think it's the graph key or accent key on the top uh top left of the keyboard um because that's going to show you live your log file and i'm going to show you the error that i get which is very non-specific so if i jump in the tractor turn it on and so I was trying to use follow me to bail silage um, on my Greenland save. Um, so tractor on, baler on. And let's just turn the baler on. Um, control F to enable follow me. We'll bring back up the, the, the debug. And if I jump in the tractor now, you'll see an error, error running lure method update. Um, and what that does is I can start the tractor up. Um, I cannot enable the mowers. I'm pressing the B key. I can't, I'm pressing G and I can't switch between mowers. And in my, you'll see in, you will have seen if you watched the Greenlands video, it also screwed up the menus and basically crashed the game. Let's jump out to the mods folder and I'll show you the process that I use to identify the particular mod that's causing the problem. To start out, I am in the Farming Simulator 22 folder. That's under Documents and My Games. And that's where the settings file that we need is. I can't remember if it's game or game settings. It is in game.xml. And you'll see development controls. And you want to set that to true. Just here. Set that to true. Save it and close it. And that will let you bring up that console. Um, other useful things. We've got our log file here. So if we open that up and scroll down um, and scroll down and we get to the bottom actually it doesn't show the error that's kind of weird kind of frustrating as well if you're trying to fault find but we had it in the development console so that's fine so we're going to go into our mods folder um and actually let me just set up all so the other thing you're going to want is somewhere temporary to move the mods to that you want to take out. So the way I do this process is there are two approaches you can use. Both work 
basically the same thing. What you're trying to do is isolate the mod or mods that are causing the problem. And the way that I do it is copy out a load of the mods into a temporary folder and reload the game and see if the error is still there. If it is, you know the problems in the mods that are left in your mods folder. If it isn't, you know the problem is in the mods that you've taken out. And then we repeat until we get it down to the minimum number of mods taken out and you don't have a problem. Um, I was originally doing this on my live Let's Play save. So I did. there were certain mods that I didn't want to take out. Things like the map, because you kind of need that. Um, so what I did initially, um, this is my mods folder. I went in and selected everything down to the map. So the map that I'm playing on is Greenlands. And I cut that using Control X and I pasted it into a separate folder. Um, what we're going to do now is reload the game and see if we've still got the same error. One thing I forgot to say at the start is if you're doing this on a live save, definitely take a copy of that save. Um, I, if you can, if you can recreate it in a test save, even better. And that's what I'm doing here. As you load into the game, it will tell you a whole load of mods are missing, obviously, because you've removed them. You want to say yes to continue. And we're going to load the game up. So uh, I'll be back. So we're back in the game now, and we're just going to see if the problem still exists. Um, we've, we've lost our bailer because that was one of the mods that was in the set. Now that could cause you an issue because you might not know whether it's linked to the specific bailer or not. I know that it was not linked to the specific bailer because I was doing testing with another random bailer and we'll see that as we go through. So I'm just going to get another bailer so that we can test this. Um, that was a bit of an oversight on my part of being too enthusiastic with the cutting and pasting. And this is why I say use a test save. Um, because and because you know, if this is your actual game and you start deleting stuff that you have um, see my video yesterday um, which was recorded before I went through this process um, you can get a bit frustrated I've deleted follow me as well which is kind of important so I've added back in follow me and I put the bailer back in as well because I know it's not the bailer causing the problem in my situation. It could be in yours, who knows. So we've got the uh, got the bailer going again. We're going to hit control F to enable follow me and we're going to jump in and no error. As I know the mod that's causing error, but play, play along with me. So, so everything's fine now. We can uh, start the track that we can turn mowers on. We can tab where we can use the g key to go between equipment so we're good so we know that the error is in the temp mods folder that we've created so something in there is causing the problem let's go back out so we're back out on the desktop and now what we need to do is go through the process of adding back mods and seeing if things break and i tend to like to do it in about 50 50 chunks that's the way that i would do it so what we're going to do is we're going to work up from the bottom because Greenlands and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll take that chunk and I'm going to cut it and I'm going to paste it back in to the mods folder. Um, I would always recommend that you move them rather than just disable them because with some mods, they might load in the background and all that. You never know with farm sim. It's much better to move them than to just turn them off. So that's those moved back in. Let's get back in the game and see if we have the problem or not. And we're back again. It's obviously, this can become quite a time consuming process, but you know, if you're like me, you've got a, a safe game that you've been playing for a very long time and suddenly you have an issue, then it's worth it. And one of the other things that I also recommend when doing this that you could do is you could do it by date order. So take out the mods that you installed most recently. Um, that is another really good way of sorting them i just use alphabetical because it's what i did and again it's fine but i i do know which mod i'm looking for i'm just kind of taking you through the process so we'll go out again we'll uh we'll add in the mods that i know are safe and we'll see what happens we're back on the desktop and as i said i know which mods are causing the problem here and um actually i sort by date order that will help isolate it because it is one of the more recent ones. Actually, this one is a mod that I just re-zipped. So um, 
we're going to take those and we're going to take that and we're going to take that um the mod that i found is the problem for me is the animal food overview now i'm using that mod on other saves and it works perfectly fine it is something about the combination of mods that i have in this mod folder with different scripts and different vehicles and all that kind of thing that's stopping it working it could be any one other of the scripts or things that i have um i could the the next step if i really if this mod was a really important mod to me so if this was an essential mod um the next step that i would do once i had identified it is um do a cross comparison between a mods folder that i know that works with it with that in and find the differences and then start to look at those but we're not we're just doing the first steps here so that is the mod that's causing us the problem i think let's go and we've reloaded and let's hope i was right um i was testing this over the weekend um and on sunday in fact and uh this, this, this was what I found was causing the problem for me. And uh, let's let's just double check. Um, there we go. Still no lure error. Um, I can turn the mowers on and off. And the only difference is we've taken out the one conflicting mod. Now, it is a mod conflict. It is not that the mod itself is broken. Um, I'm being very specific about that because I know lots of people that use that mod without issues it could just be that that mod and follow me conflict and it's a conflict it's not that either of them is wrong at all i know that um the multiplayer that i do with the farming agency guys they have that mod installed they have no issues so um i want to be very specific that that mod is not a bad mod the mod set that i have has a conflict in it when that mod is used with all of the other mods that i have if i wasn't using follow me i wouldn't have that problem so you could say follow me is causing the mod conflict but follow me is a mod that i deem essential for what i'm trying to do the animal food system is not so that's why i've chosen to remove that you will find when you're doing this um, that something else is causing the conflict i have been through this process a couple of times i've always found the mod that's causing the conflict in the mod set that i have I've never been in the right point to record it, um, but it's fine now. It works. So um, that's the video, basically. Um, you just need a way of weeding out the mod, the mod within your mod set that's causing the conflict. The way I do it is um, I start by moving a big chunk of the mods out of the folder, then reload the game and see if um if i still have the conflict and then you can from there you can narrow it down um always move them don't just deactivate them in the game it's much better to move them if you're a fan of the channel and you want to know about greenlands hang on for a minute if not thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it. i hope this is useful if it is click the like button if you've got questions stick them below if you're not subscribed to the channel and this has helped you then subscribe and turn on notifications um thank you to the patrons and the youtube channel members i really appreciate you guys supporting me you help keep me sane sometimes and the rest of the community um the discord community i have somehow accumulated is awesome um regulars i'm gonna reload greenlands because if you watch yesterday's video i was very despondent and i was very fed up with it um and things are better so yeah back on greenlands um yeah if you watch yesterday's video what i basically did is um edit together the footage i had that actually went further than this this is the point where i got back to when things went wrong um and yeah i was pretty darn fed up actually um I have a lot invested in this save and it appeared to be broken you will notice that a lot of the stuff that i said i had got rid of is back i ended up going back to a save backup and i managed to get all the mods back that i needed i have pruned the mods folder with mods that i know i'm not using i've actually seen a few as i was reloading there that i don't need either um definitely 
you know, minimum mods in the mods folder. Um, so if you saw that video, you will have seen the Lua error that I was getting um, when I was trying to bail. Um, and you will have saw that eventually it crashed out the menu system. So follow me is on. Fingers crossed. There we go. So the save has been recovered. Um, I can get in the animal menu, all that kind of thing. So don't think I've lost anything. I've got the fasting back in um, and I've fixed the errors in it that I was getting. That was from an update to that at some point from Giants. Um, we've still got my wrapper. I probably am going to see if I can update that to work with Maze Plus. Um, I said I wasn't going to, probably am going to. Um, it's adding in another bail site. I'm maybe hoping I can do that. I don't know. If not, we'll have to swap bail wrap, but that's not the end of the world. Um, I am so pleased that I found this. Um, I have, I, I was chatting to Caltech yesterday. It's Monday morning now. Um, I, um, yeah, I don't know. Switch you off. Why? It didn't follow my own advice. Um, well, I do, actually. Um, so my advice when people say they have a mod conflict is to go through the process that you've just seen me go through. Um, I've probably recommended it to some of you. Why a week ago I didn't think of doing it, I, I do know. I think I kind of panicked. Um... Yeah, I kind of panicked and I was trying to get rid of the things that I thought would obviously be causing a problem and it was none of those. I did not do what I tell people to do and remove the most recent mods that I've added because I'm pretty sure the most recent mod that I added was the animal food system. Again, I'm not saying that's a bad mod. I'm using it on Attingham and it works fine. Using it on, as I said, on the multiplayer with Paul and the farming agency and it's fine. Um, it's most likely that there is something else in this save that's not so fine but I found that because when I did the um, when I went through this process yesterday started with the A mods and I took the A mods out and it fixed it and then I put I think that might have only been two mods and I put one of them back and it worked and so yeah I very quickly narrowed it down I think it took me about five minutes in the end after hours of frustration um i'm still I, they still released the video that you will have seen yesterday because um i actually thought about pulling it because i fixed that after i finished this video but there should be a pin comment which tells you that um yeah it listen to your own advice it's a bit of a worldly lesson there um so i always tell people Go through your mods folder and work out. You know, split your mods folder up and work out where the, where the error is coming from. And because it was such a non-specific error and it wasn't pinpointing anything, I didn't do it for some reason. And I eventually did, and we're back. Um, so at some point, we're going to be tackling this job of silaging all of this. Um, yeah. I'm a much happier man. I was a much happier man yesterday when I found it. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for following the channel. Um, I still find it really weird that a bunch of you watch me play video games. And support me playing video games. And it's kind of nice to be able to do these things so that they can help you out. Um, I've been wanting to do this video for so long. But never had a a scenario to easily demonstrate it without making something artificial um, and i realized yesterday that i had that scenario and therefore i should make a video of it because it's useful to people um i think i hope i hope it's useful um you know mod conflicts are a massive thing in the game I think less so in my community because more of you are like me and you don't go to bestfarmsimmods.com and download every single shitty mod. I can't swear at the start of the video. I can share. I can swear now. Um, 
Yeah, most of you are pretty smart about where you get your mods from, so it's less of an issue. I mean, this is a mod hub mod conflicting with a mod hub mod, and um, you know, and it might be something else. It might it might be that the combination of the animal food system and follow me and another mod is causing the problem, and I could go through and find the another mod. I was so relieved that I found something that I didn't want to. Um, again, it not saying the animal food system is a bad mod if it's not causing you problems feel free to use it um i'm still using it on hattingham uh there's every chance I'll, i'm using it on a load of my videos it's it's not a bad mod it's um yeah i don't know i'm definitely in the rambling category now so again thanks for watching thanks for yeah being the community that's awesome and I'll see you next time.